Hey everyone! I had a chance to look through a lot of my tour footage and so I wanted to start putting together a couple of tour vlogs like this one for you guys. I think I'm just going to start here by kind of showing you guys what daily life was like for us on the road. I think um, that might be interesting for you guys to see like what the schedule is like. It was five days of shows, one day off, and the first day off wasn't really a day off anywhere. It was just pretty much like an eight hour travel day. And then we did another five shows in a row without a break. Then we had another day off and that we spent in Dijon, France. And that was actually more like a proper day off, so that was really nice. And then we had two more shows, one day off, and then we finished with two more shows. My tour manager in Europe was Aaron, and he did a great job with the sound every night. I also had Salome with me again. She's amazing and just such a good friend. I always have a great time with her. And I was so lucky to have one of my best friends from back when I was 12 years old, that's how long I've known him, Brandon on the tour with us just decided to come along and be helpful and I'm so grateful that he did because he seriously did so much work on this tour. I don't think he realized how much work it was going to be but he really saved us in a lot of ways. He helped with merch every day, he helped with the VIPs. A lot of you guys probably met him because he was always the one taking the pictures for VIP and for the after show meet and greets. So a huge shout out to Brandon for just being amazing on this tour. Definitely wouldn't have been the same without him. So this was the first time that I had a tour bus. In the US we had a minivan and you know that worked out alright because there were just three of us traveling together. But the tour bus is a lot more comfortable. The nicest thing about that was we had so much luggage this time. We had all the merchandise with us. We had a lot of show gear. All of the stuff, you know, adds up to a lot of luggage, so if we had tried to do flights instead of taking the bus, I think that would have been a nightmare. I loved the tour bus, I definitely would love to do that again. Our bus driver, Sasha, was amazing too. He did such a great job, I didn't even know we were driving half the time because he was so smooth, and he was just such a nice guy too. Once we woke up, I would usually go to the front of the bus, Aaron was usually always up first, so hang out with him for a little bit and you know if we had some cereal on board we would eat breakfast otherwise we would just wait until we got to the venue or I would snack on some of the lovely gifts that a lot of you gave me in the morning a lot of chocolates, cookies, delicious things like that. I'd go to the back of the bus then and try to like put makeup on. Sometimes I would attempt to do my hair back there if we had enough time but it was kind of hard because it would be bumpy sometimes, so I would usually wait until we got to the venue because I didn't want to burn myself. <laughs> so once we arrived at the venue, it was usually around 1 or 2 in the afternoon, and we would pretty much immediately load into the venue. So loading in the equipment, I would usually help Brandon with merchandise. Once we were in the venue, we would go find the green room, and then a lot of times, thankfully, the venues would have internet. So. That was sometimes the first time that we would have internet access all day. A lot of us would just immediately start doing emails or taking care of social media stuff, whatever we needed to do. Once we got to the venue, there was only a certain amount of time of free time that we had and then it was pretty much, you know, sound check. We would usually spend maybe a half hour sound checking and then the IP meet and greet was right then and then we would have maybe an hour between there to maybe try and get something to eat. A lot of times what I would do right before the show, like that hour after VIP meet and greet and the actual show is I would practice a little bit. Then it's time to do the show. The show is about an hour and 15 minutes long and then I stayed after every show on this tour as well to do like an extra meet and greet with people. Definitely not the same as the VIP meet and greet, but I like to stay after just to say hi to people and for people who might not be able to afford the VIP meet and greet and also just people that might have like missed out on those tickets as well. But that usually, depending on how many people came to the show, could last anywhere from an hour to two hours. So once that was done, uh, we would have to go back to the green room and every night we would shower at the venues, which Sometimes it's okay and sometimes it was freezing cold and not the most comfortable situation so you just do it as fast as possible. Then I would just get my pajamas on pretty much right at the venue and then we go load up the bus and then we were on our way maybe around midnight or so. It was a really interesting way to live that was pretty much every single day was like that. You know, you just get to the venue, do your sound check, your VIP meet and greets, the show, after show meet and greets and then you know, get back on the bus with everything. And then you wake up in a different country. After the show, since you're so excited and energized and the adrenaline and everything, it's really hard to just wind down after that. So we would end up staying up pretty late. Sometimes we would play bus games, 
Other times we would just talk and have some snacks. Thanks for watching this video guys. I'll be posting some more tour videos soon. I think one of the things I would really like to talk to you guys about is just kind of the business side of touring. I saw a few people asking about that and uh, asking how I'm able to tour in the first place and just kind of how it all works. It's really interesting and it's really complicated. It's something that I'm just learning about each time that I do it because I had no idea what touring was about or how it happened before I did my U.S. tour. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.